Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my May perfume tray. So let's do a quick recap of how April went. Um, let's start off with the Prada La Femme. So I wore this a few times. I put a little bit of a dent into it. Um, and it is a nice, pretty, easy reach perfume. Um, there is a note in here. I'm not sure what it is that bothers me sometimes. And it's not like, it doesn't smell bad. Um, but it's just like I really notice it and it really stands out and it's not my favorite. I'm going to keep playing with this and testing it to see how I like it. Um, again, it's very pretty. But if that, I can't get past that note, I don't know, I might declutter it because it makes me want to reach for other things. Um, but I did enjoy it when I wore it. I wore it a few times and it was really nice. Lasted all day. It's great for the warm weather. Um, then I have Juliet Has a Gun Pear Ink. I put a little bit of a dent in this one as well. I wore this quite a few times. This is such an easy wake up, spray it on, um, smell, you know, fruity and fresh and musky and clean. Um, and again, I get really good performance out of that fragrance. Um, I know some people don't, but I really enjoyed wearing it and I will continue to wear it throughout the spring and summer months. Baccarat Rouge. Um, I definitely got some wears out of this. I don't know if you can tell, but I put a little bit more of a dent into it. <clears throat> Again, this is another easy reach for me. It's definitely one of my favorite perfumes. Um, I wear it any day for any occasion, and I like to layer it. I've started uh, layering it with other things. So I will definitely continue to wear this throughout the spring and summer months. Um, that's just something I was layering with. Um, then I have Armani's uh, Rouge Malachite. This one I actually also got a couple of wears out of. Um, I Actually a few wears. I, I was experimenting layering this with other fragrances. I'll include that in my layering video. But this is so beautiful and um, it really does perform so nicely in the warmer summer months or spring months. Um, so I will continue to also reach for this one. But I have found this is not a perfume I like to just lounge around the house and wear. Like, I like to be out and about doing something um, so I get like those nice wafts throughout the day as I'm wearing it. But I did get quite a few wears out of this. Um, I don't think I'll be able to show you the dent I made in here, but I, I definitely gave it some good wears. Clean Reserve Skin, a little bit of a dent into that one as well. Again, another easy reach when I wanted to smell good, but I wasn't necessarily in the mood to wear a perfume, or I knew that I was just going to be out running some quick errands and I'd be coming back home to shower and get dressed for something else later. This was a great uh, one to just throw on. It smells nice, but it's not overpowering, and I get pretty decent performance out of it for what it is. Atelier uh, Vani Ensemble. I think I might have worn this once. Um, and it smelled great, so I'm not sure why I didn't reach for it, except for the fact that I probably just wasn't in the mood for a vanilla fragrance. Um, vanilla fragrances aren't my top favorite. I do like them, like them more now than I did before. Um, it's nice because this one has that like lime note, so it's a little fresher, it's not gourmand. Um, but I will, I will try and wear this some more in the spring and summer months, but I just only wore it once this summer. So, I mean, this, this last month. So that was a little disappointing because I, I thought I would wear it like at least two or three times. Um, same for the C uh, Fiori. I wore this a couple of times, enjoyed it both times, thought I would wear it a lot more. Granted, I was testing out a lot of fragrances for April, so I think that kept me from wearing everything as many times as I could. Um, I, I had a ton of samples and uh, purchases and things that I was kind of testing out to see if I wanted to add them to my collection. But I did get to wear this a couple of times. It, it is a nice, beautiful, easy to wear fragrance. Um, it's, yeah, sweet, fluffy, airy. Um, good for lots of different types of occasions. I will, again, probably reach for it a couple more times in the spring and summer months. And then we have Dior J'adore. I, you can see the dent I put into this one. I actually reached for this quite a bit. This was definitely uh, one I was throwing on in the morning, so I'd get up, shower, and then I didn't necessarily have much to do until later on in the afternoon or evening. So this was definitely one that I would throw on because I still wanted to smell nice and pretty, um, but not overpowering. And then you can easily throw something else on top of this later on and it won't uh, offend the new fragrance you layer on top of it. 
but I will also continue to reach for this in the spring and summer months, but I am glad I was able to get some good wear out of it. And the last one on the tray for last month is Parfum de Marley's Casilli. I think I got the most wear out of this one. I wore this one several times. I wore it by itself. I experimented layering it with a couple other perfumes and um, I'll include that in my layering video for sure because I found like my favorite combination of layering with this fragrance and it was just, it smelled so good. I actually had to stop myself from reaching for it or else I would have worn it almost every single day and the other ones would not have gotten a chance. But yeah, I I got my monthly wears out of this one and I will definitely continue to um, wear this in the spring and summer months and fall too. I, I think this is a pretty good almost year round fragrance. Okay, so now let's talk about the perfumes I'm going to be putting on my tray for the month of May. The first one I have here is uh, Amouage Portrayal Woman. Uh, the other day I was going through and sniffing all of my perfumes that have a tobacco note in there. I spritzed this on my hand and you know, throughout the day I was just getting these really beautiful wafts of this. And before I had always, always said I like really like this for the rainy weather, which I do, but I think that kept me from really trying it out in other seasons, especially warmer ones. And what I have discovered is that this fragrance really does open up um, with a little bit of the heat kind of getting into it on my skin. Um, so it has jasmine, tobacco, vanilla, and elemi in it. And yeah, it just smells really beautiful from the bottle. But when you spray it on your skin, you start to get more of that warmth and vanilla um, from this fragrance. So I'm going to put this on my tray and experiment with it um, probably, I would say, in the evening time because it is a very, I don't know, intriguing kind of seductive type of fragrance. The notes are dark. There's not a lot of notes, but they come across just like really dark and sensual in my opinion. Um, but I'm curious to see how it works in the warm weather in the evening time. So I'm going to try to wear this at least two or three times for May. The next one I have is Mojave Ghost. This is new to my collection. I got this uh, for my birthday back in March. Um, and I've worn it a couple times, but I've been focusing on the fragrances that are on my tray as well as the other things that I was testing, so I wanted to not ignore them for something, you know, shiny and new. But I'm going to put this on my tray for the month. This has a really nice, beautiful, um, juicy pear-like opening. Um, there is magnolia, violet, sandalwood, ambergris, and cedar in this. This is really great for warm weather. It's nice, it's simple, it's fresh, it's sweet, but it's not cloying. Um, so I'm really excited to actually give this some good wear this over the next few weeks and kind of see how I like it, how it plays on my skin. Um, yeah, and so you can see, barely used. I think from this bottle I've sprayed maybe just a couple of times. So I will definitely be reaching for this a lot in May. The next one I'm going to be adding to my tray is uh, Paca Roban Olympia. This is the original one. So I noticed after wearing the Clean Reserve Skin, I was kind of in the mood for my salty fragrances. So I'm gonna be busting out a couple of them this month. This, I when I remember when I first was looking up this fragrance because I heard people talking about it, the ginger flower note in here made me think I would not like it. That and the salt. I thought that was such a weird combination. There was no way it was gonna smell good, but I eventually got a sample and fell in love right away. So it is sweet, there is the vanilla, it is salty, but I don't necessarily pick up on ginger in the ginger flower, but there's like green mandarin, the ginger flower, and I think it adds just enough um, freshness to keep this from becoming overly cloying because it could with the um, salt vanilla and the ambergris. There's also cashmere wood and sandalwood in this fragrance. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to pick this back up again. It smells so good. I think this is great for daytime, nighttime, anytime. Um, 
I mean, I don't know about any season because I never really think about it in the winter time, but definitely spring, summer, fall. Um, I've worn it in those three seasons, and so I'm really going to uh, get some wear out of it this month, hopefully. The next one I have is Armani Blue Turquoise. Um, I've talked about this fragrance quite a bit on my channel already. This is another salty uh, vanilla perfume. This one also has um, a lot of, there's like spice in there. There's uh, incense and black pepper and I think that adds to yeah, like the spice to it. I don't find it to be too spicy. I know some people have found it to be too spicy, but I think this is a very beautiful like mineral spa-like uh, fragrance. And I actually did wear this a couple days ago. It was such a beautiful day outside. It was like the weather was warm, but it wasn't hot. There was this really beautiful breeze and I was just in the mood for this. I actually wore this like two days back to back um, and just loved every second of it. It lasts all day on my skin. So I knew it was time to put it on my tray for this month so I can feel free to wear it and not feel like I'm ignoring the other things on my tray or, um, you know, taking away from the other perfumes that I'm testing. The next one that's going to go on my tray is uh, Louis Vuitton City of Stars. This was also one I got for my birthday. This is a fragrance that is citrusy, it is power powdery, and it has white florals in there. Um, it has lime, blood orange, blood mandarin, lemon, and bergamot. I mean, when I tell you that the opening is citrusy, it is so citrusy um, and it's got, I don't want to say sharp because it's not cloying or screechy, but I think that blood orange and the blood mandarin add this kick to the citrus vibe that's in there, maybe the lime too. Um, so I love all the different citruses that are in the opening. And then um, after that starts to settle down, you get the tiara flower in the mid and it kind of uh, sweet starts to sweeten it up a little bit and make it a little bit softer and then you have the powdery notes the musk and the sandalwood that comes in so this fragrance is definitely not linear I do get the citrus notes all the way through but they decrease over time and the other notes start mingling with them better but this is definitely one the longer I wear it on my skin the more addictive it smells I cannot stop smelling myself as the day goes on when I wear this um I will, uh, I know I've, I've worn it several times because I had um, a couple different times when I wore, I, I went into the store and tried it and sampled it around. But then I also have tried this on once or twice since I've gotten the bottle, but I haven't given it like a full real wear. So I'm hoping that the longevity is good. From what I've sampled so far, it's been fine. I haven't had any complaints about it, but now I'll really get a chance to see what the longevity is like, um, how it plays on my skin when I'm outside and not just, you know, bumming around the house um, testing things. But I'm very excited to finally start wearing my, one of my birthday fragrances. The next one I also just bought and I did a dedicated video on this one. This is a uh, Maison Francis Kirk de John Feminine Pluriel. So I got a uh, one of those travel samples from Scentbox and I don't think I've ever gone through a full one of the Scentbox travel sprays. Um, I usually you know, try it on, wear it a little bit. If I like it, I just buy the perfume and then that poor travel spray is just forgotten or I pass it on to someone else that maybe was also interested and so now they can have a, a free travel to try it. But I went through that travel spray in probably a week and a half or so. It's completely gone. So I got this big bottle. Um, this is the 200 ml bottle and I got a really, really great deal on it. I got it for just over $300 and the retail price is $435. Um, so I couldn't pass that up, especially because I knew how much I loved it. Um, but this is a very floral fragrance, which is why I think I didn't assume I would like it that much. Um, when I was first looking into the brand and trying things out, there's Iris, Rose, Violet, uh, Lily of the Valley, Vetiver, Patchouli, Orange Blossom, and Jasmine. And I thought, oh, there's nothing in here that's gonna keep it from smelling just like 
a bouquet of old flowers. I'm not gonna like that, but it is just the most beautiful, classy, elegant, easy to wear uh, fragrance. I just really feel like myself when I wear it. It smells good, but it's not overpowering. It's floral, but it doesn't smell like a bouquet of flowers. I really do not like perfumes that just smell like a bouquet of flowers. Um, there's such a great balance of the patchouli, the orange blossom, all the florals that are in there and the vetiver. Um, so there's a little bit of this sweetness. I, I'm wondering if that's coming from the rose and the orange blossom together, um, but it's not cloying. I don't find it to be too heavy or headache inducing. I've only ever worn it in the spring since I just tried it for the first time a couple weeks ago. Um, but I'm really looking forward to seeing how it performs as the weather starts to kick up. I think today where I am, it's supposed to be 100 degrees. I don't know if it'll actually reach that temperature, but we've hit 90s in the past few days. So um, I'm gonna be actually wearing this this evening. I'm going out with some friends for dinner so this is what I'm going to wear, see how it handles the heat. But I'm excited to finally be dipping into the actual bottle of this fragrance. Um, I love it so much. It is easily becoming one of my, you know, top maybe five favorites that I have in my collection. And the last one I have for my tray is Armani's Sea Intense. Um, this is such a great uh, perfume. If you like the original Sea, I think you should like this. The, the only difference really is is the black currant syrup. So it is a little jammier. It is a little sweeter. Um, it doesn't have that kind of bubbly, airy quality that the original one has, but the DNA, the DNA that they share is very similar. Um, so I'm actually going through a travel size of the original and I most likely will buy a full bottle once it's gone. I find them different enough um, and what I want to wear them for different enough that I don't mind having both in my collection, but you can get away with just having one because most people are just gonna smell C and not really pick up on the differences. Um, so this one I think would make a great signature scent. I've worn it in a lot of different seasons and I have found so far, I'm not sure if I've worn it like in the middle of summertime, um, but so far I have found that this is great for all seasons. It's great for all occasions. I like wearing it in the daytime to do something casual. I like wearing it in the evening as a date night scent. Um, it's just a really good staple, easy to reach for fragrance. If you like those notes, there there is patchouli in there. Um, and I know some people are not a fan of that. Um, most of my fragrances I think have patchouli in them or a big chunk of them do. So obviously I like it. Um, but I have smelled some where the patchouli is kind of cloying and annoying, and I do not find that to be the case with this particular fragrance. But um, when I was trying to decide on the fragrances I wanted to wear for this month, I saw this one. I was like, yeah, I, I'm definitely missing this for my kind of evening, you know, out and about type of smell. It's so beautiful. And then there's like this beautiful, warm, ambery kind of vibe that it gives off at the dry down and it just smells fantastic. I get so many compliments when I wear this uh, perfume. I don't think I've ever worn it around people and someone didn't comment on how good I smelled. So, yep, gonna be adding this one to the rotation. Okay, so here are the fragrances that I'm going to be concentrating on in the month of May. Um, if you have any, recommend any recommendations or suggestions for me, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Um, other than that, I think that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.